What is going on everybody, Mike Do Not Joker here and I'm going to help you guys out with another video. On my last one I gave you some recommendations on what I on what you should complete first and foremost and then you can move on. This time I'm going to give you some tips and some tricks on how you can, well not some tricks, but I'm going to give you some tips on how exactly you can play through the Japanese Mobius Final Fantasy without struggling so much with the kanji. Obviously a lot of people will tell you to download the Google Translate app. We all, we all should know that the Google Translate app is like 95% accurate, it's not always correct. So it might confuse a lot of people, it's going to confuse a lot of you. So here's some, here's some tips that I'm going to give you guys. Alright, I'm going to try to keep this video short. I'm going to try to uh, get this video short because I don't want it to be like at least like a 20 minute long video, there's no reason for that. Uh, so let's go ahead and let's get this thing started without further ado. In my last video I told you guys to complete chapter 1, chapter 2, and all of chapter 3. Alright, uh, do not worry about the hard modes, because if you do, you'll instantly die, okay? Don't worry about it, alright? Uh, next legendary job will be here December 7th, I think. Uh, and I think in December 7th, it'll be a Striker, and he's going to get a Hall of Fame, so uh, definitely do that. Um, you can always summon from the first, uh, from the first, the second, or the third banner, you get a regular job, okay? When you first start, or... Um, yeah, when you first start, if you're just starting out, you get your free Mobius gift box, you get some Magisites, you get some summoning tickets, go ahead and summon from any one of these three. Uh, it doesn't matter which one it is, okay, it really doesn't matter. I think you get like the top 10 from, the top 10 most used cards from each or something like that. Uh, most definitely try to summon them, okay. When you get, when you do your first summon, there's one thing that I definitely do not need you to worry about. When you do your first summon, and you were to like come here for example, let's say you come to your deck, alright, and let, like I said, we're going to go back to Dragoon, let's say, hold on, wait, hold on, wait for a moment, wait for a moment, okay, let's say that you won this job right here for example, okay? You didn't get a, you didn't get the recommended cards here. Let's say that you got this job, then you got you were lucky enough to get Aries, and then you got an Earth card. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Oh, oh crap! Nope, didn't mean to do that. Uh, let's say you got uh, let's say you got this card with it. Let's say you got that card with it, and then for Ice. Uh, Let's say you had this card with it. No, not that card, because you can't summon that one. Um, 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 Let's say you also had... Well, yeah, why not? Let's say you had that card with it. And then for Earth, let's say you had... Let's say you had this card with it, okay? So you got one warrior card, you got two mage cards, and then you got a uh, you got a ranger card. Okay, look, that'll be fine because for the uh, first chapter, most definitely, it'll be fine for the uh, first chapter, uh, the first chapter, and the second chapter, and the third chapter. It'll be fine uh, because the first chapter and the second chapter, most definitely, because with your job, you don't have to worry about uh, leveling it up. You can if you want to, but don't worry about it. Uh, go ahead, just powerhouse to the first chapter, powerhouse to the second, and then you can powerhouse to the third. It's going to be useful for the third chapter. Alright, trust me, you do not need to worry about any card recommendations at all whatsoever. Okay, and the reason for that is because your job is actually strong enough to surpass these two chapters. And surpass chapter three as well. Alright, so as soon as you ga gather more Magicide and as soon as you gather more summoning tickets, uh, then you can go ahead and do another job summon, you might get a brand new job, and you might get some cards required for it, okay? Another thing that I can definitely give you some tips on, like as soon as you like, uh, complete, like, chapter 3, part 2, like all of chapter 3, you go ahead, you come all the way over here, and you do, and if you're still, if the event, if you're playing while the event is still available, you come to this tab right here. When you come to this tab, when you come to this area, this will be you'll go to a cutscene, you'll start uh, battling or fighting or something like that, and then you'll come to this map right here, all right? And this map, the, the, this one is going to be the only thing that you can go to. When you come, 
when you do this one right here you'll get your first weapon that can give you some prismatic orbs so i highly recommend like as soon as you get done you can like do you can finish like two chapters and then you can come here and then do all that so you can get your uh so you can get masamune which is sephiroth's weapon and i'll show you guys what it looks like all right so this is the weapon this is sephiroth's weapon it's called the masamune all right i i think it gives you it's either this one or this one one of these two gives you the chances of drawing prismatic orbs which means you can use all the elements for it okay so that's definitely something to uh, look forward to all right so try to get masamune and then as soon as you do uh, you can continue on with the stages it does get harder as you keep fighting though so make sure that while you're doing the stages that you keep, uh, that you gather the recommended cards for your job all right as soon as you get enough magicites and as soon as you get enough tickets do another summon so you can get a job uh, and some more ability tickets okay because when you start off you have no uh you have no ability shop okay and starting off with no ability shop that's gonna suck it's gonna suck big time okay so uh if you also want to go ahead if you want to cheat your way through come to uh multiplayer right here come here to multiplayer and you can go ahead do some one star two star battles uh if you already added me for the id if you already added me on the id uh then you guys can uh def then let me know when you guys want to do multiplayer and i'll definitely help you out on that uh do some and uh do some multiplayer battles so you can go ahead and gather yourself one of these security cards you know uh because these are these are like a really great start for you it's a great start to get yourselves up there it's a great start for you guys to uh have a damn yeah it's it's really good to have a damn good start and you really want to uh, and if you really want to become powerful this is something that you will want to uh this is one these are one of the cards that you will want to uh, acquire so and like i said if you treat global the same way if you treat the japanese the same way you treat global all of it is the same okay so do a couple of one star battles and two star battles and try to get in uh, when you unlock uh four star augmentations you can uh, augment these cards with the four star all right and go ahead and collect whatever you need to collect from here all right so pretty much you know just try to get yourselves all right so if you want to go ahead get yourselves up there if you want to quickly catch up without trying to spend a whole lot of summoning tickets and a whole lot of uh without spending a whole lot of summoning tickets and a whole lot of magic site you can just come here to multiplayer and you can just do all this you can form a group and if you want me to tag along with you i have no problem doing so i'll tag along with you and i hope you get the cards that you need okay you can just go ahead we can come here i will show you what's all available at the moment all right so for one star you got ifrit you got belias you got shiva and you got oh what's his face what's his name what's his name bamfrit is it bamfrit I think it's favorite. All right, and then these are going to be the next ones available. All right, so I'll get, I'll definitely help you guys complete that. I will also help you guys complete the two star, and if you can't survive it, I'll help you complete the three star. However, I will not be doing four star with you guys because, well, you guys can't form that. You can't, you can't form that party yet. You can't obviously form the two star and the three star until your ranking is up there anyway. So, so yeah, I will definitely help you guys get up there. Most definitely, most importantly, okay, because I want you guys to try to breeze your way through it and try to get yourself used to the job that you're wanting to uh, play as, especially if you roll a new job, okay? And now for my very last tip. My very last tip for you, if you want to, you can uh, come all the way over here. Uh, do your uh, exploration regions, you know what I'm saying? You'll get some extra, uh, you'll get some summoning tickets, ability tickets, you'll get your magicites out of it. Uh, it's the same way that Global did it, okay? Just follow the same... It, it literally follows the same requirement. I think it just adds plus one to it, though. So, just... Uh, if you complete all the requirements in Global, then guess what? You can do the, do the same thing in the Exploration Region, okay? Do the same thing here. Do the same thing there. Uh, do the same thing for the third Exploration Region. The fourth Exploration Region is not out yet in Global, but you can also do it here so you can get a general idea of what you have to do. All right, so definitely complete these regions so you can get some extra magicite and extra summoning tickets out of it and then when you're ready you can go ahead when you feel like you're strong enough go ahead and challenge the hard mode uh and then uh because let's say that normal mode it's difficulty one which is the easiest 
when you set it to hard difficulty too. If you were to come here to hard mode, right here, the hard difficulty, that's difficulty number three. And then setting that to hard mode is difficulty four, which is the hardest difficulty, okay? So that's definitely something that if you guys want to do, you're always free to do so. You can go ahead and do that, all right? Not going to stop none of y'all, but that is my tips for what you can do in order to get yourself uh, used to this whole playing on the Japanese uh, Mobius Final Fantasy. Just try to like treat this like you're playing on the global. I know it's going to be like a lot to handle because of all this kanji that's showing up and you can't read it. But that's why I said get the feel of it. Play around with it. Get Explore this whole entire place. Uh, but here's my tip for you. Uh, just complete the first re if you uh, have done like all three of your chapters get Matsumune. Uh, if you want to do multiplayer to get those Sicarius cards you can go ahead and do that to uh, catch up with yourselves you know try to get yourselves used to playing with those jobs so sooner or later because you're going to be replacing those Sicarius cards with other ability tickets and then uh, not other ability tickets ability cards and then if you want to gain more Magicite more summoning tickets do your exploration regions most definitely okay that's all I got for this video. I hope this helped you guys out a lot. I am Michael Dude Nacho Joker. I will see you all in my next video, whenever that is. As always, take care of yourself, guys, and have fun.